Welcome back guys in this tutorial I am going to teach you guys that how to create a splash screen just like this application in which a balloon image will come up from the bottom of the screen and will stay in the center of the screen so let's get started okay so to create the application I am just going to create a new project I am going to name it flying colors at the cradle build after that first of all i'm going to make changes into our main activity layout file a few very simple changes okay so after the splash screen we will move toward this activity no in order to create the splash screen first thing you have to add a new activity go to your java project folder and then add activity empty activity here i'm going to say it splash activity and this would be our launching activity the very first thing you need to do is to go into your manifest file and change this launcher activity to default activity which is your main activity okay after that close this now I'm going to create an object of red class. Now I'm going to create a private method in which I'm going to call this thread method and I would say it starts flash, surrounding it with try catch block. Okay. Object thread would equal to new thread and here I'm going to create an anonymous class and now I am going to override the run method. We don't need the super constructor so I would delete it. Next thing I'm going to do is to start this thread object after the anonymous class. Okay. Now inside the run method I'm going to create a local variable int pause it and this would be equal to zero next thing i'm going to use a while loop and i'm going to say it pass it would it would be less than six thousand and here every thousand represent one second so now i'm going to call sleep method and i'm going to pass 100 milliseconds in it surrounded with the try catch by pressing alt plus enter Next thing you need to do is to call pause it and increment it with 100. Okay, so after when this while loop will end, we are going to call the start activity method in which I am going to pass constructor of intent in which splash we will move from splash activity dot this to our main activity dot class and after that. I will finish our splash activity dot this dot finish okay that's it next thing I'm going to add the animation with our splash screen so in order to add the animation first you have to create an animation folder right click on the resources folder then add Android resource directory and from here choose the animations by pressing IN and there will be an option of animation and call this directory anim and just press ok after adding the animation folder just right click on it then new and simply click on animation resource file and I'm going to say it translate and then press ok after that add the tag of translate in it self close it and next thing add from x delta and i would say zero percent and then to x delta and i would say zero percent after that add from y delta and i would say 200 percent then to y delta zero percent after that add duration for it and write duration and here just 
give the number of second in milliseconds that you want your animation to complete in okay and at the end just provide android z adjustments and this would be from top okay of course he is kept up okay so that's it for the translation file in the next step just go back into your splash activity then layout file here i'm going to make changes over here first i'm going to change it to linear layout then i'm going to set the orientation to vertical and gravity to center in the next step i'm going to use an image view with the width of 250 dp and height of 250 dp as well and with the id splash image okay now i'm going to copy and paste an image from my image resources i have copied the image now going to into drawable then paste okay and i'm going to name it flying colors png okay so here i'm going to set the resource is flying colors dot png okay done with our activity underscore splash dot xml file in the next step go back into your splash activity here i'm going to create animations for our splash activity first thing i'm going to create the object of animations and then i'm going to initialize it with animation utils dot load animation here you have to pass the context first then the file from which you want to load the animation and i'm going to say or dot any dot translate okay in the next step i'm going to call the animations to reset after that just going to call our image view equals to find view by id or dot id splash image okay now I'm going to clear the animation on this object. New dot clear animations, and after that, going to call start new animation with this image view by calling start animations. And here I'm going to pass the file which I want to play as an animation file inside it. Okay. So in the last step, I'm going to call the start splash inside our activity. Okay. So that's it for the coding point of view. Next, I'm going to run this application. Okay, our emulator is up and running. Okay, guys, congratulations. Our animations have been successfully completed. Let me run this application once more so you can clearly see what actually happened. Open the application again colors here you go okay now it's come very smoothly so this was it guys in the next video i'm going to explain more concept about the splash screen so keep watching and keep learning